Now, the president's state of mind was the center of attention in Washington today. The Justice Department finally releasing the highly anticipated transcripts of Biden's interview with special counsel Robert Herr, who testified this morning, and we'll get to that in a minute. But first, five hours of Biden unscripted. Our producers spent all day reading this, and now we understand what Robert Herr meant when he called Biden painfully slow. The transcripts confirm that Biden didn't remember when his son died, when he was vice president, or when Trump was elected. Biden had to be reminded multiple times throughout his interview what a fax machine was. And whenever he was redirected to focus on the question at hand, he'd launch into wacky stories weirder than corn pop. For instance, when the special counsel asked why he moved classified documents from the Naval Observatory, Biden claimed he'd won an international torts competition in law school and then shared a story of a 23-year-old who was wearing the wrong pants, wrong jeans when a spark caught fire and he lost one of his testicles. Biden called himself a frustrated architect who went to Mongolia where he shot bow and arrows with sumo wrestlers. Biden said he had great aim and put everyone in Mongolia to shame. At one point, Biden asked special counsel her if he saw, quote, risque pictures of my wife in a bathing suit, which you probably did, she's beautiful. When asked about his classified documents in the garage, Biden bragged he went on Leno with his Corvette and started making car noises. Quote, all you do is you take your foot off the brake and vroom, vroom. Joe Biden complained that the Secret Service was driving him crazy because they wouldn't let him drive. So Biden would drive back and forth in his own driveway. Quote, I'd get it to the bottom of the driveway, tack it up, to about four grand and vroom, vroom. Yeah, the president making more car noises. Now, if you were a prosecutor conducting a deposition, you're asking about highly sensitive national security secrets, and the subject starts revving his engine and pretending to hit the clutch, you know he's not fit to stand trial. This is why the White House won't release the audio tapes. The president's going vroom, vroom and asking, when was I vice president again? Robert Herr had to assess the president's mental state because his mental state would determine whether or not he willfully retained classified documents. What was going on through the president's mind or what wasn't going on through the president's mind was important, and Herr defended it. My assessment in the report about the relevance of the president's memory was necessary and accurate and fair. Most importantly, what I wrote is what I believe the evidence shows and what I expect jurors would perceive and believe. I did not sanitize my explanation, nor did I disparage the president unfairly. But Democrats didn't want to hear about the president's hazy memory. Jamie Raskin used his time to question your memory. My friends, this is a memory test, but it's not a memory test for President Biden. It's a memory test for all of America. Do we remember fascism? Do we remember Nazism? Do we remember communism and totalitarianism? They have one more reason to celebrate Donald Trump and his cult followers who've completely lost their way. They're looking for high crimes and misdemeanors. Now they appoint themselves amateur memory specialists, and that's what they pounce on the president of the United States about. America faces a choice between democracy and tyranny. So, for Democrats today, it was about fascists pouncing on Corvette lovers. They tried to rewrite the whole report, but failed. Did you have any reason to believe that President Biden lied to you? I do address in my report one response that the president gave uh, to a question that we had posed to him that we deemed to be not credible. Was it clear he didn't lie? Uh, I'm sorry, Congressman. The report is clear that he didn't lie or that he caused his staff to lie to you, and that he didn't cause his staff to lie to you. Your report is clear on that. Uh, you I agree not. that... <laughs> no. Democrats even claiming her exonerated Biden when he didn't. 
So this lengthy, expensive, and independent investigation resulted in a complete exoneration of President Joe Biden. I need to um, go back and, and make sure that I take take note of the word that you used, uh, exoneration. That Mr. is not a word Herr, that you I'm going to continue with my questions. I'm going to continue with my questions. I know that, that I the term that I ultimately reached. I know that whether the term sufficient evidence existed such that the likely you outcome you, you exonerated would be a conviction. Him. I know that I the term willful him. retention has a Mr. Herr, it's my time. Thank you. Today's testimony proved that Biden, for 40 years, spread classified documents across three states in six unsecured locations after being warned repeatedly. Mr. Herr, classified documents were found at the Penn Biden Center? That's correct. They were found in President Biden's garage? In Wilmington, Delaware, yes. And in his basement den? Also in the same home, yes. In, the major, in his main floor office? Correct. And his third floor den? Correct. At the University of Delaware? Correct. And at the Biden Institute? Correct. Is it accurate to quote your report that classified documents were found in, quote, badly damaged boxes in his garage near a collapsed dog crate, a dog bed, a Zappos box, and an empty bucket? Is that correct? Those words do appear in the report. <laughs> Biden even told her his garage was such a mess, he moved boxes around himself. So his Corvette had more room. The president admitted, there was a kid who used to help me take care of my Corvette, but didn't work for me. So besides Hunter and his Chinese assistant zipping in and out of Biden's garage, they were kids working on Biden's cars. And primetime can conclusively report tonight that mysterious mechanics and spies did not, I repeat, did not have full access to Trump's documents in Mar-a-Lago for decades. Special Counsel Hur testified that Biden admitted he knew he had classified documents and that he wanted to keep them for posterity's sake, to burnish his image as a world leader. Hur also testified Biden hoarded classified documents to write a book, a lucrative deal worth eight million. Joe Biden had eight million reasons to break the rules, took classified information and shared it with the guy who was writing the book. That's why he did. He knew the rules, but he broke them for $8 million in a book advance. It wasn't just $8 million. It was also his ego. Pride and money is why he knowingly violated the rules. The oldest motives in the book, pride and money. So pride and profit, you got motive. The misconduct's plain as day. And there was an attempt to cover it up. The same month Biden opens an investigation into Trump's handling of classified documents, he dispatches his team to gather all of the classified documents that he'd been stashing. Then Biden's team waits a year and a half to announce they'd found classified documents at the Penn Biden Center, an 18-month mop-up job at your house while you raid your opponent's house. That's not cooperating with investigators. In fact, the second they heard a special counsel had been appointed, Biden's ghostwriter deleted evidence. Ghostwriter has recordings of Biden making admissions of, of, of crimes. He then learns that you've been appointed. He then deletes the information that is the evidence, and you don't charge him. That is reflected in the report. One of the things that Mr. Zwanitzer did not delete was transcripts of the recordings that he had created that included inculpatory evidence relating to Mr. Biden. Oh, so if you, if you destroy some evidence but not other evidence, that somehow absolves you of the evidence you destroy? He, like, here's what I see. Zwaniger should have been charged, wasn't. Biden and Trump should have been treated equally. They weren't. And that is the double standard that I think a lot of Americans are concerned about. In the last three elections, three candidates have been accused of mishandling documents. Hillary, Biden, and Trump. And only one's been charged, the only one who was president with declassification authority. The other two risked national security for pride and profit, got caught, destroyed evidence, and then lost their memories. But is Biden playing dumb or just dumb? I would not be able to prove beyond a reasonable doubt to a jury that that intent element had been Right, met. but the reason you have that doubt is the, is the senile cooperator theory, the fact that Joe Biden is so inept in responding that you can't prove the intent, which again, I don't quibble with that conclusion, but it's frustrating to be like, oh, well, this guy's not getting treated the same way as Trump because the elevator's not going to the top floor, so we can't prove intent, while at the same time, Biden goes out there at the White House and says, well, you know, 
He just, he, just, he just blatantly lies. And what I'm trying to figure out is whether or not Biden's lying because he's still so senile, he hasn't read your report, or whether it's a little craftier and a little more devious and perhaps a little more intentional than we might otherwise think. Yeah, so prosecutors are claiming Biden's too forgetful to be prosecuted, but Trump sharp enough to stand trial? That's not how the law works. We have a former vice president who will not suffer any consequences for all of these actions, all because we say, well, he's a well-meaning, forgetful old man. You know, if you were kind of a well-meaning, forgetful old man that was driving a car and you forgot what you were doing a little bit and you hit somebody and killed him, I believe you'd be responsible. The law must apply. Now, the real reason Herr didn't charge Biden is because he didn't think he'd get a conviction. But it's not why, it's where. Her didn't think he could get Biden convicted in D.C., and that's where the jury would be. Outside of D.C., fair jury, sure. But Biden's poor mental state let him escape justice, which is forcing the media to argue that Biden's competent enough to be president, but not competent enough to stand trial. You have this image of this poor guy sitting on a park bench, you know, feeding the birds. That's, that's not who Joe Biden is. He really wasn't carrying their water. I think you've shown the work on the, um, the old man sitting on the bench feeding the pigeons. It comes after Joe Biden just had a very successful, effective State of the Union address. So nobody who saw him on that night is going to think of him as, as Gloria said, a kindly old man sitting on a park bench feeding the, you know, the pigeons. So the president sitting on a park bench feeding the pigeons is what saved Democrats from nominating Kamala. The White House releasing a statement after this hearing today saying, vroom, vroom. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.